Welcome back to GSRA. Today, we will take a look at the literary development in the age of Chaucer. The Chaucerian age saw a great and significant advance in poetical forms of literature and noteworthy ones in the domain of prose. First one is, the lyric they are chiefly religious and love lyric. Second one is the rise of the ballad. By the late 14th century, the traditional ballad, of the type of Chevy Chase, Sir Patrick Spens, and the Robin Hood poems, had become an important source of popular entertainment. They are mainly about love, local legends, the feats of local heroes, supernatural happenings, or religious stories. The ballad deals with man's elemental passions in frank and uninhibited terms. Its tone is impersonal and detached, and there is little or none of the composer's personality to be felt. It was always simple and easily memorized. We can find the frequent use of a refrain and of repetition. We also hate to note that the collections of ballads were not made until the 18th century. Next, we will see a boy at the rise of the allegory. The allegorical method is crude and artificial, but it is a concrete and effective literary device for expounding moral and religious lessons. For example, House of Fame. We could also see the development in the descriptive and narrative poems The Canterbury Tales is the outstanding example. Next is prose. The Travels of Mandeville, translation of Bible. can be considered as an example. The state of prose is still immature. In Chaucer's, the Canterbury Tales, Tale of Parson and Tale of Molly Bees are written in prose. We also have to note that apart from the above said tales from the Canterbury Tales, all the other tales are written in the form of poetry. That's it for today. To get more information on UGC Net, remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Happy learning!